Hello and welcome. I'm Janet McKee, founder of Sauna View, and we're here today to talk about what to have for breakfast. I get that question all the time. People want to know, what do I have? I'm busy in the morning, but I know I need to eat something, and that's absolutely correct. You do not want to skip breakfast. There is nothing you can do the rest of the day, no matter how healthy you eat, to balance your brain and body chemistry if you skip breakfast. It is true that that is the most important meal of the day. So we're going to talk about what to have for breakfast to support your mental, emotional, and physical well-being, because all of that can be affected by what you choose in the morning. So after you had a good night's sleep, which I hope you had, that's very important, I want you to start your day with a glass of water. Remember, your cells are at least 70% water. So even if you had a sip of water in the middle of the night, you've basically gone seven, eight, nine hours with nothing to drink and you are dehydrated and your cells of your body need to be hydrated. As a matter of fact, even the cells of your brain need to be hydrated. You cannot think clearly. You cannot handle the stress of the day. Your digestive system can't work properly. Your immune system can't function properly if you're dehydrated. So please start your day with a beautiful glass of filtered or spring water. And I love to tell people to have a second glass of water with maybe a squeeze of lemon or lime in there. That kind of helps rejuvenate your liver and gallbladder and hydrates you even further. But better than that even is to have some raw and pasteurized apple cider vinegar in your water. This is amazing because not only does it help rejuvenate your liver and gallbladder, but it also has beneficial bacteria, which we will talk at length about in another video. But beneficial bacteria is absolutely critical for supporting a healthy digestive system, which does support your immune system. 80% of your immune system relies on beneficial bacteria and a healthy digestive system. So isn't that wonderful to put a little bit in your water and sip on that in the morning as you're preparing your breakfast. People ask, well, how much apple cider vinegar do you put in your water? Which I do every morning, by the way. And as you notice, I just pour the bottle. But put a teaspoon to a tablespoon, whatever you can tolerate. And if you really don't like the taste of the vinegar and water, I like to drink two glasses of water in the morning. And when I get to the bottom of my second glass, I put apple cider vinegar in there and take it like a shot, like my morning medicine. Mm. Really good for you, though. Wonderful. I also like to recommend in the morning, consider, especially if you're a coffee drinker, try some green tea or even possibly some chai tea. If you've ever had chai, C-H-A-I, a lot of people that like coffee like chai tea because it's really dense in flavor. Well, chai tea is a combination of cinnamon, cardamom, cloves. These are all spices that are incredible antioxidants and really good anti-inflammatory spices for your body. So if you like that spicier flavor, try the chai tea. Otherwise, I always start my day with a couple cups of warm green tea. Green tea is not only anti-inflammatory, it has wonderful antioxidants, and it also has been found to help boost your metabolism. So all of these things were starting our day hydrated and boosting our metabolism and cleaning out our liver and gallbladder really is helping to prepare us to have a really vibrant, healthy day. And so then we like to see what would you like to eat? So many people start their day with box cereal. And let me tell you, when you read the ingredients on box cereal, it's basically processed grains and sugar in a box. And I was at the health food store today and I was looking at all of the box cereal, all kinds of wonderful go lean and high fiber this and natural that. Every single one I read had some kind of grains in it and the second ingredient or the third ingredient was sugar, some kind of sugar, evaporated cane juice or corn syrup or something like that. And what that does for you is it gives you the spike of blood sugar and then you crash. And that's why you're irritable often, you're tired and exhausted, your moods are uneven, you feel stressed. That's what's going on. Everyone's starting their day with sugar. Even when we think we're doing something healthy, there's often sugar added. And you know that the worst thing you could do is start your day with a Danish, and often people are doing that. They're staying up late at night, starting their day with a cup of coffee and a Danish, and they wonder why they're feeling mood swings and exhaustion and fatigue. So get rid of the sugar out of your diet in the morning, actually throughout the day. But there was one cereal that I found called Ezekiel that actually had sprouted grains and beans and all natural without any added sugar. That would be something maybe to consider. I would find that hard to digest in the morning, but some people really love that. 
There is one cold cereal that I like to recommend and it's Lydia's Organics and it's grainless apple cereal. I get it from one of the health food stores locally here, the co-op, and all it is is dried fruit and nuts that are dehydrated low temperatures and I like to include some non-dairy milk like almond milk or coconut milk with something like that and fresh fruit. So instead of this box cereal approach, which be very, very careful with, as I explained, then why not just do something like some great fruit and nuts in a bowl? I love to take whatever fruit is in season. I'm really a big fan of berries and maybe I throw in some bananas in there. I did find some wonderful organic berries at the store. Then I like to add like a really good almond butter or peanut butter and remember, watch the video on reading food labels you'll be really careful to read ingredients especially on peanut butter because some of them are just loaded with unhealthy fats and added sugar which is not necessary so i love to have fruit and nut butters maybe we can even add some crushed walnuts or i really love to add pumpkin seeds pumpkin seeds are complete protein they're amazing for you any time of the day, but really great to start your day with something like that, or hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are wonderful too, to have in the morning. So really yummy to put fruit and nuts and nut butters in a bowl and sprinkle maybe with some cinnamon. Cinnamon is another spice that helps lower your cholesterol, balance your blood sugar, and has great antioxidants. So fruit and nut and nut butters for me, is all real food instead of processed food in a box, yummy for breakfast. Mm. Many people like to have cooked cereal and cooked cereal would be better as long as it's a real food. Like for example, a good oatmeal. Again, reading the ingredients should just be oatmeal. Nothing else, no added sugar, not one of those processed hot cereals. This is good Irish oatmeal. It's a real oat groat. It takes about 30 minutes to cook. And so some people complain that it takes too long. Well, they do make a quick and easy Irish oatmeal. They actually parboiled it and cooked it in advance. That would be wonderful. What I like to do is even consider combining like a quinoa or a millet for breakfast and make sort of like a porridge or you could do one or the other. These are fabulous gluten-free, wheat-free grains. Really wonderful for you. And there's another cereal that's a hot cereal that I really like, which is this Bob's Red Mill creamy rice cereal. You read the ingredients, it's just brown rice. Just chopped really small, kind of reminds me of the taste and texture of cream of wheat. But often people put on their oatmeal and their cooked cereal a lot of sugar. I recommend instead you cook your oatmeal or your creamy rice cereal with a lot of chopped apples or raisins. And you put that in there while it's cooking and it sweetens it so you don't need to add sh sugar. Then you want to add more chopped apples on top and some other fresh fruit, berries, bananas, some cinnamon. I really love to add on top of my cooked cereal some walnuts. Walnuts are a wonderful source of omega-3 which is anti-inflammatory or some Brazil nuts if you've ever had these. You can also chop these up small really great source of selenium and zinc. You can put on here a non-dairy milk if you prefer, like an almond milk or coconut milk, rice milk, soy milk, flax milk, one of those. Find one that you love. They're fabulous. So a wonderful, warm, real food type cereal would be fabulous. Now, in the morning, there are two things that we're going to teach you in two other videos. Fresh juicing, which is one of the most healing, most amazing things you could do for your breakfast in the morning, and smoothies. We have an entire video teaching you all about smoothies. My favorite morning is I start with water, green tea, fresh green juice, and a protein smoothie. But the proteins I use are very healthy, zero cholesterol, zero saturated fats, and this is what I wanna teach you in that video. So please make sure you look forward and pay attention to the juicing and smoothie videos to find out what else you can do in the morning that's fabulous. Now, the, many people do eggs. They love eggs in the morning. And I really would prefer that to recommend that you put a lot of vegetables in your eggs 
if you're going to have eggs or better off skip them all together so for those of you that prefer a savory breakfast that's cooked then let me show you what to do next so many people have eggs for breakfast and my concern there is let's say they'll have an egg and cheese omelet it is very high in saturated fat cholesterol and hormones and what it's missing are beautiful plant foods when you fill your plate with colorful vegetables and fruits and nuts and seeds, then you're supporting your liver for detoxifying your blood of excess fat, cholesterol, hormones, and toxins. So when you have just an egg and cheese omelet or egg, bacon and eggs, you're really taking in a whole lot of fat and cholesterol and missing the fiber and nutrients that you get from plant foods. So instead of a fried egg breakfast, I'd like you to consider this. What I did, as you already know, I put some olive oil in the pan, I added my onions and garlic and let that cook a little bit. Remember, onions and garlic are number one cancer fighting food. They really support your immune system in fighting illness and they add a lot of flavor. If you don't care for garlic and onions, then you can skip that. Just a suggestion for me. Then I added greens, zucchini, red sweet pepper, mushrooms, really gave it a wonderful meaty texture also supporting your immune system to help fight illness you can even in the pan add some potatoes this is really wonderful if you're hungry in the morning and you want a nice hearty breakfast because the potatoes also fill you up and kind of replace the need for bread in the morning a lot of people do eat a lot of bread with their eggs and so forth and it's not always the best idea particularly if you have diabetes or you're worried about your weight and things like that so sometimes having something like potatoes fills in that need for something really heavy and satisfying now with all these wonderful sauteed vegetables i like to add some healthy fats and protein maybe you want to add some pine nuts you can cook it in there with it or add it after it's done cooking or you might want to chop some walnuts or almonds and have that with your sauteed vegetables now when the vegetables are done cooking this is so wonderful and it's really delicious and satisfying and this is a good dish any time of the day but if you are missing kind of that creamy texture of eggs if you like them consider taking this dish and adding some chopped avocado avocados are really healthy they help lower cholesterol they have monounsaturated fats that are very healthy for you and this is just a fabulous wonderful breakfast to satisfy all kinds of tastes and textures and cravings wonderful veggies in the morning creamy avocado mm. Now that is far better than just fried eggs for breakfast, in my opinion. Please give it a try. So what did we do here for breakfast? We took real foods, real plant foods, and filled our plate with so many fabulous things. Of course, we started with water, a little bit of lemon and lime, apple cider vinegar, maybe some tea, some green tea. We are going to address juicing and smoothies in another video, which are really great ideas for breakfast. But then we did fresh fruit and nuts, nut butters, cinnamon. This is simple and quick and far better than processed cereal out of a box. If you don't have time for this, just take an apple or a pear, cut it in half, throw some almond butter on it and go. Or take a handful of almonds and an apple with you. Even if you're not a big breakfast eater, eating something real, whole foods like that, great flavor, great texture, really supports your health to get you through the day. Or if you want a cooked cereal, real oatmeal, real brown rice, millet, quinoa, make a wonderful porridge, add fresh fruit and nuts and cinnamon on top, or instead of eggs, a delicious cooked vegetable dish. Try these for breakfast. These are solutions to start your day with wonderful foods, fills your tummy, satisfies your tastes and cravings, and gives you the energy and vitality you need to have a fabulous day. That is what I wish for you, a wonderful energized day. Thank you for joining us here at Sonaview.